Hey guys, John Christensen here, Avid Customer Success. In this tutorial, we'll go over the basics of transcoding and how it can make life easier for you. What transcoding does is it takes the source footage you have linked with AMA and re-encodes it to a specific Avid codec, creating a new file of media altogether that plays very nicely with Avid. To transcode, all you have to do is select the clip or clips that must be transcoded, right-click on them, or option-click, and click Consolidate Transcode from the list. This is the same menu as consolidation, except instead of consolidate in the top left hand corner, we're going to highlight transcode. Here you can select your target drive that you want to send the footage to. And then move over to the right here, we have the target video resolution. This is very important as this is what the new format is going to be with Avid's new clips that it makes. If you go up in the numbers, you're actually having less compression, which is higher quality. Lower numbers actually have more compression, which is lower quality. Right under that, it's going to show you the space required for such a thing. Under that, it'll show you how much space you actually have, so you can figure out whether or not the files are actually going to fit. And then under that, you can convert the audio sample rate, convert the audio bit depth, and even change the target audio format. Under that will be projected audio size. When you're ready, hit transcode and let Avid do its work. All right, so while we're waiting, there are two times you might want to transcode. The first option is to link to AMA and then transcode to an Avid codec right away before you start editing. A good codec for this is Avid's DNX HD codec that I just used. It has various options for compression if you want to play with the balance of quality versus space. The other time you may want to transcode is once you have a rough cut done. In this case, instead of transcoding a specific bin, you would transcode the sequence timeline. This may be wise considering transcoding does take up a ton of hard drive space, especially when you're dealing with HD footage. If you're lacking hard drive space and can deal with the rougher parts of AMA editing, the latter path may be useful. If space isn't an issue, transcoding at the beginning of your workflow can prevent some serious headaches. Alright, so it's all done. We go check this out right here. There's the original clip, still AMA, you can see as the icon there. This is the new one. This is a transcoded file, it says .new here, that's how you know. Double click on that, and there it is. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. Good luck guys, see you next time.